much. Well, several power outages reported in the area today, and Excel Energy is saying about 4,000 people were without power. Traffic lights were out in several areas, including 25th and 10th Streets, but they're now back on. Valley News Team's Macy Enger is live where all this started to give us the latest. Macy? Yeah, Stephanie, firefighters and XL Energy Power Company just left the area. And power, like you said, is back on. Now, firefighters say they came out to this area around noon. They say the power pulled just right over my shoulder near that school sign was on fire. Now, they say the power pole caught fire and burned through the pole, po causing part of it to collapse. Now, crews quickly closed off the roads about a block in each direction of 2nd Avenue South, which are now all back open. Crews were worried about the busy area and someone walking through it, and that's why they closed down the roads. About 132,000 people had power, and for a few hours, like you said, the stoplights along University were shut off, which are now back on. No one was hurt in this whole ordeal, but some people we talked with say it did cause a hiccup in their day. Can't take a nap now and can't charge my phones because I got to work tonight. <laughs> I'm waiting for the power to get back on. <laughs> but, you know, it's the first time experience for me to go through all this, you know. <laughs> what, what can I say? <laughs> Now, XL Energy says the cause of this power outage is pointing to our dry winter and weather that we've had. They say with a small arc from a power line and the rain could cause the spark to cause the pole to catch fire. And that's what they believe caused this power outage. But like we said, everyone does now have power in the area. Stephanie? People